everyone. Greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan for Make Love Your Self Learning Tutorials. Well, today in this tutorial, we'll be discussing a very important workbench of the FreeCAD, that is the Sketcher workbench. So let's start by creating a new file and move to the Sketcher workbench. So here you have certain set of tools which are similar to the draft tools. And another thing that you have are the set of constraints which makes it different from the other tools like draft which are very set of powerful constraints. So now we can create a new sketch from this option. So it will ask you in a dialog box, like you want to select the orientation, whether to be X, Y plane, X, Z or Y, Z. You can also reverse the direction for the orientation and you can also set the offset. So right now let the working plane be X, Y, click OK. So here you will get a new working plane, a new set of global axis x and y let's create a new line from this option like this so you see in the solver message if you see you get here like under constraint sketch with four degrees of freedom if you see the location of this line is not defined the length then certain other two degrees of freedom this rotation so the very first degree of freedom can be solved by we can just set this position of this point on the origin so for that what you can do is simply click on this point and point of the line and the origin point and click on this constraint name creates a constant constraint so you see two degrees of freedom are removed now second thing you can set the orientation of this line you can just coincide with this x-axis so click on this point click on the line the x-axis and click on this constraint name fix a point onto an object so now you see it is fixed on this point now if you see in the solver messages we have one degree of freedom left so for that what you can do is simply click on this line and fix its horizontal distance between the two points or you can fix the length of this line let's fix the length of this line let it be 200 mm click ok you can also give the optional names from here like length so see now it's in green in color and you can do further operations you can extrude it you can do revolve it in the part workbench now let's see some more constraints let's make an arc in the arc you have three endpoint arc the center endpoint arc let's make from the center so if you see when we hover over the point it will just pan and give you the point option so now this arc will be constructed making the center there to the point so now just simply make an arc like this so now you see this arc has three degrees of freedom like the location the radius the length of like this so let's first fix uh, you can also make the tangent so right now what you can do is we can fix this arc on this point by same constraint so it's center here so that not will, will not be done we can constrain it on this line so fix it here and now this edge now you can just set the radius of this sphere by clicking on this arc and here you have a uh, constraint name fix the radius you can set the radius of it like 200 now you have left with the one degree of freedom which is this or either like this point you need to set its location or the length like what you can do is we can either set the distance between these two points horizontal or the vertical let it be vertical distance let it be 200 so now it's a fully constrained sketch now let's discuss some more constraints like the vertical constraints we have this as so far we have discussed three constraints the point constraint the coincidence system constraints the setting the distance length the radius constraint now let's discuss the vertical and the horizontal constraints now let's make this line from this option it creates a polyline in the sketch let's create a random sketch like this so now if you see these lines doesn't have any vertical or any horizontal profile so let's select like this line so we want this line to be parallel to the x-axis so what you will do is by selecting this line here you have an option 
creates a horizontal constraint select on it so you see your that line is totally now parallel to this direction you see this is a constraint you can just also recheck by here constraint number 10 so these are the lines which are constructed as per now then you can see this line we want it to be vertical simply click on it and you have an option here click a vertical constraint so click here so see now it's vertical constraint next we can discuss the parallel constraints so let's make two lines here something like this so you want this line to be parallel so click on these two lines and select like this constraint make the parallel constraint so now these lines are parallel no matter what is the orientation or are they uh, horizontal or vertical so if you just make any of the line vertical or uh, horizontal another one will automatically shift it to that so let's make any of the line vertical so see another one is also changed next we have the perpendicular constraint between the two lines so what we can do is let's construct two lines here so now we want me these two lines to be perpendicular to each other so select these two lines and click the perpendicular constraint so now these two lines are 90 degrees to each other no matter they are joined or not or whatever position they are but they will be perpendicular to each other next we have a constraint name creates a tangent this is this is basically beneficial when you have an arc so let's make an arc first let's make a three point arc now something like this now we can have a line so now we want this line to be tangent to this circle so select on these two surfaces or two geometries and select this constraint so now you see this is tangent to this line this is so easy to work then you have the equity constraint you can make two lines equal like we have these two lines select like them and select like this constraint it will make the length of these two lines equal if you will increase any of the other line or decrease the other one will also automatically change then you have a very important constraint that is a symmetric constraint let's have a use of that suppose we have made, made a line here so we want this line to be to increase and decrease in an equal manner with respect to this line or any of other line so let's set these two endpoints and select the reference line like this y-axis and select this symmetric constraint so now you see if you will decrease or increase the length of this line it will just increase or decrease in an equal manner so this is the power uh, use of symmetric constraint then you have a fixed log constraint this is basically like you have constructed any line so simply click on that and fix this log constraint so it say you can select any of the endpoints so now you see this endpoint it's constrained with respect to the origin so it will, it will automatically fix the position the vertical horizontal constraints of that point similarly you can fix for this one simply you need not to set the vertical and horizontal constraint again and again with respect to region simply click on the point and select this fixed constraint now it's totally fixed here then you have the horizontal distance we have already discussed that let's tell you again like you have selected these two points you want to set the horizontal distance between these two points so let it be 14 meters so this is fixed now similarly you can set the vertical distance between these two points like this these two points and set the vertical constraints that will be 16 meters so it's fixed now then the length we have discussed the radius we have discussed then the angle like make uh, some two lines again like you see you have these two lines select these two lines and set the angle constraints now you can fix the angle between these two lines let it be 80 degrees so you see now the angle will remain constant 
no matter what the length of this profile is so one other thing that is which is very important let's close this sketch and delete it now in the part workbench let's create a sample cube and now we want our sketch to be on this surface so what we can do is move to the sketch workbench just like this surface and click on the create a new sketch so it will ask you option that how you want this select, uh, sketch to be constructed we want it to be flat face flat face means when you click ok now the, the sketch is totally parallel and joined to that surface we constructed on that so let's make anything anywhere if you see it is totally on that surface now one more thing you want to see here is that you can also check these edges you can also add them to a geometry but they will not be shown in the uh, output sketch like this is an option which says create an edge link to an external geometry so if you click on this option now you can select the edges of the cube you see it becomes very easy so now you can just set the constraint like you want this uh, length line to be coinciding with this one so what you can do is simply click this and this edge and set the tangent constraint or you can just coincide these points yeah very easy then you can set the make the length equal like this and any other constraint that you want like we want this to be coinciding with this line one more thing very beneficial here is this is a toggle uh, between the construction mode so if you click on this now you see the geometries are shifted to the blue colors that means if you construct any of the things here like see if you just construct a circle here it's blue in color so it is visible here but when you close the sketch it won't be visible here because we can that sketch or the geometry we can use it as a reference to the original shapes so i show an example here like let's create a line here so this is a reference line you need not to take care about its constraints or anything else so let's fix these two points remember these purple lines are always fixed because these are the references line obtained from the geometry of the pre-built physically object so now just fix its symmetry with respect to this line so now this line is shifted automatically in the center of this object surface so now you can use use this line as a references this is beneficial when you don't have the original origin y axis or axis in the center of any surfaces so now just click on these two edges and take this line as reference and click the symmetric constraint now you can use this as a reference you see it's very beneficial well that's all for the sketcher workbench or else you can use do your experimentations like hey you have the option to create the fillet between two two lines like click on this line another line you have the fillet here then you can change the radius of this fillet by clicking here and setting the radius constraint so that's very easy you see then you can trim the lines setting any two lines then making the trim options so that's very easy but you need to know the approach to make your drawings so this was a basic overview a beginner approach to a sketch of workbench well thanks for watching guys this was nirbha chauhan from ekla wear self learning tutorials goodbye thanks